Uh, could the noble lord reassure the House that um, there will be no lowering of standards on things like air quality, water quality, employment standards, or uh, animal welfare that are currently uh, existing in the EU by virtue of TTIP negotiations? Uh, the chief negotiator for the EU, in fact the President of the EU, President Barroso, has made it very clear that TTIP is not about lowering standards. And in much the same way, the single market, I do not believe, created lower standards. And EU laws and EU fundamental rights are going to be protected as part of these discussions. And in discussions with the US, they are not seeking to change that, although they regard some EU regulations as being too low, and they also worry about some of the similar matters. The Minister accept that there is genuine concern that if there is private investment from overseas in our health service and then an incoming Labour government wants to restore it into the public control and public finance, there could be very serious, very high claims against us uh, which would cause great difficulties. What is being done to ensure that that kind of claim is not going to cause great difficulties in the future of the NHS? I can assure my noble lord that uh, such claims would not arise because of TTIP. Uh, there is nothing in TTIP. There may be contractual claims, which are a matter of domestic law, but perhaps, as CETA was mentioned earlier, I can quote from CETA. Uh, the EU reserves the right to adopt or maintain any measure with regard to provision of all health services which receive public funding from the state support in any form. It is quite clear that the decision about how these services are provided are a matter for national and, indeed, in the case of the UK, uh, commissioning authorities, not a matter that is going to be decided by TTIP or, indeed, any other trade agreement.